Rob and Kate are making gingerbread houses. Yeah. I'm gonna do another guy just aiming for his life. Um, I'm gonna put some on my gingerbread house. No, I actually ate some of the boss thing. Oh yeah, that's right. So I did eat one thing. I've had the same Bose headphones forever. I don't know. It feels like at least 10 years, maybe seven years. I think my mom gave them to me the first year that we moved up here and they are not doing so good. I had to like zip tie this up because this plug isn't good and whatever. So I was gonna buy a new pair, but they're so expensive and I'm so cheap. I went on Amazon. First, I had to figure out what model they were and then I bought parts to restore them. And that is what I'm gonna try right now. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. Cutting zip ties with scissors is not. Oh, plugs in perfectly. Both ears work. So like I glued these old ones on a couple times. So this might be a disaster. Oh no, that was easy. This could be the most boring video I ever upload. I guess we'll soon see. Really gotta like work these in. Oh my gosh, it's like brand new. No time for this side. Oh, there it's, oh my God, they're so good. I'm kind of mad at myself for not doing this sooner because I love these headphones, but this is so great. If you have an old pair of Bose headphones, you should totally restore them like I just did. Six minutes, brand new, save myself like $300 or $100 or I don't know, however much they are. I opened up a bag of Chicago mixed popcorn without shaking it because I didn't want to make too much noise last night. Now all of the caramel corn is in the bottom and the cheese corn is at the top. I was trying to tell Laura about how last night I was trying to use a spatula and a shot glass to mix it, but it was failing miserably, so now I'm going to reenact it. Also, we do have an air mattress in the living room because the kids are sick. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, it's shot glass. Yeah, I put the shot glass in here. I was trying to displace more... Yeah, but that's too big to fit like i needed something small <laughs> why on earth would the world need to know about this if you have to ask i guess you'll just never understand i also made up earlier today while i restored my headphones why on earth does anyone <laughs> even i don't care about that i'm sitting next to you i just told you the story and you were enthralled by how good these are now. i can feel them on my ears the vlogosphere won't know <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy it's 5 30 or something and the ups man just dropped off a package and kate answered the door and got it and i'm looking at it and i can't even i don't even know what it is but it says it's ben bendicine's bakery and it's an authentic danish kringle from racine wisconsin but i have no idea what that is or why i'm receiving it i want to open it and see if there's like a note or anything i want it to be like a bomb or something Oh, no, Jesus, it is an authentic Danish Kringle. Who is it? Wow. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> this is so weird. I don't even know what a Danish Kringle is. There's two of them. This is the weirdest thing no, I've... No, no. Nothing. It's so weird. Come on. <laughs> is this the weirdest thing? <laughs> I mean, thank you to whoever sent us an English... Or Danish, yeah, sorry, a Danish Pringle. Four generations of quality, Bet L. Benstein owner. Oh, all right, it's, there's a note here. Merry Christmas, Jeff, Brent, and Abby K. Thank you, Jeff, Brent, and Abby. I figured it out. Uh, Jeff, Brent, and Abby are people that they work at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals and they bring cool Mopars, uh, but it's, uh, yeah, so thank you. I think this looks like a breakfast dish, so I'm gonna save it for breakfast. Breakfast Danish. No, it's a Danish Kringle. It's a taste of Denmark. 